Good morning, friends. I didn't want to start the video off shading my eyes, but I'm going to have to because the sun is right in them. This is just a little video where I'm going to talk about, I have a selection of books on mending and visible mending that I just want to go through quickly with each book um, for you to be able to see what book might suit you best or which ones I personally would buy myself. I got all these from our library. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say good morning and welcome to Wild Cottage. Oh, I'm Susan. I live here with our two uh, adopted dogs in the west of Ireland, my partner Tom, where we have what we call a small holding for nature. Um, we're very wildlife friendly, encouraging the wildlife. You may hear all the birds singing um, and the pollinators all on these flowers behind me. And uh, we grow all of our own vegetables pretty much all year round. And uh, we have a natural dyes garden and we have lots of different special wildlife here in the west of Ireland in the hills of County Clare. Okay, so let's get started looking at the books. Okay, so first we'll just have a wee look at... Can you hear those? Bumble There's bumblebees and bees and hoverflies. And I'd say there will be some butterflies as well, maybe a little bit later on in the morning as it warms up. Okay, let's look at the books. I'll just give you this shot here. Look at the the shadow of the brown-eyed Susan, the Rudebeckia flower on the 100 Flowers to Knit and Crochet book. That's super cute. But I think I'll have to maybe move around so that we don't have so much light and shadow play. But I thought I'd show you that because that's lovely. I'll just give you a quick overview of the books that I have with me to review for you. So we have... The Visible Mending by, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pronounce her name correctly, Aruna Kunorja. Mending Matters by Katrina Rodaba, and I just apologize for my pronunciation of everyone's name. The Hundred Flowers to Knit and Crochet by Leslie Stanfield. The Mending Directory by Erin Egenberg. Joyful Mending by Noriko Misumi. Mend, a free fashioning manual and manifesto by Kate Schooles, Schooles, and Visible Mending by Jenning, Jenny Wilding Carden. And um, these are all pretty new. I think I'll tell you when they were published in case there's going to be a second edition that I don't have that might be updated. So I'll just move to a better location and we'll dive in. First, we are going to start off with the I think this is the first visible mending that I book that I ever kind of saw around the place. Um, you know, like in bookshops are talked about. And this is Visible Mending by Jenny Wilding Cardon. Artful stitchery to repair and refresh your favorite things. And it was published in 2018, this edition anyway, by Martingale ISBN, which you can scan sometimes and get it from your library or from your local bookshop or wherever. And what's really nice, you could, if your library ha is smaller, like our library here is smaller, but there is a inter-Ireland uh, service. So a lot of the libraries in Ireland have joined up to this so you can go on the website and order books from other libraries. So that's how I got so many mending books. I actually ordered two or three others, but they haven't arrived. So who knew? I mean, I didn't know that there were so many mending books. So anyway, so this wasn't my favorite book. It's one of the first. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of a thin wee book. She actually talks about mending the canvas shoe here. You know how they separate? And of course, I imagine you could glue it, but she stitched it. I'm very curious about that. Like, how would it hold up? Has anyone ever tried that? Have you done that? Seems interesting. But basically, the layout of this is she shows you your basic stitches for your embroidery. She 
has divided it up into the boro stitching, which I believe is the same as or similar to sashiko, um, sashiko, hand embroidery, doing patches, darning. And the thing that I noticed in this book, there's actually a section on mending by machine. So if you would like to do some machine mending, and let's see, there's an example of that. This definitely might be a book you want to check out. And of course, if this is the book that's available to you, and it's got a lot of things in there. So yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to check this book out. And um, But here are a lot of the machine mending things that she's done the gallery and then she's got free motion mending with patches and whatnot learning to mend by the machine and she gives you some some basics and uh, she has a darning gallery some you know stitches uh, photos of stitches for doing things so it's a it's a grand little basic book that has a section on machine mending which I didn't see anywhere else because all the rest were exclusively hand mending also was published in 2018 is Mending Matters by Katrina Rodebaugh. And this is Stitch, Patch, and Repair Your Favorite Denim and More. And now with this book, let me show you actually again the um, there's the ISBN and it is published by Abrams. As the title suggests, it's very denim heavy. And she has your basic types of how to do the things she has you know projects I didn't find this one to be this one might have been my least favorite just for me because I'm you know not mending a bunch of denim she does have some projects that you can make in here but I yeah for me it wasn't what I would really kind of go for I felt like in some of the other books I got more of what I was interested in maybe with better tutorial photos um yeah but again if this is what's available to you if you're checking it out from your library it's certainly worth doing that particularly if you want to make some projects okay when I first was thinking about mending my neon shawl some of the suggestions were you know to add crochet or knit flowers to it so I checked this book out so this was 2009 Leslie Stanfield published by Search Press and here here is a little uh, ISBN number. And it's basically that. It's a bunch of flowers to knit and crochet. And it's these are some of the ones. And what's nice about this, she has divided this up into uh, basic, intermediate, and advanced. So you can go through and choose your skill level and she, you know, shows you how you might do some things. So that could be really handy if you're really going to get into this sort of thing. And again, checking it out from the library, even if you just want to know one or two, if you are really into this, it might be worth buying this book. Next is, I think this is one of my favorites. This is Joyful Mending, Visible Repairs for the Perfectly Imperfect Things We Love by Noriko Misumi. And again, sorry for the pronunciation. There she, there's her name. And I love this book because, well, she probably had me at Joyful and the Perfectly Imperfect. Yeah. So I lo really love just the way she, that things are phrased in there. Oh, you can't really see the ISBN number in that very well. But it's published, oops, sorry, I'm bumping you. Tuttle, Tuttle Publishing. And this is another 2018 book. I think for just, you know, an all-rounder, this is my favorite. Um, so she has, I like, okay, she has a mending consultation booth, which I really enjoyed, where like she, you know, people would come to her with their specific problems and she shows you kind of how she did things. I just like that. There were a few of those, just helps get you started off with some ideas. And then she has a little part, The Art of Joyful Mending, where she sets out her, um, kind of her philosophy. I just, I really liked, and once you know how to mend, any hole or stain becomes a font of enjoyment. Holes and even phrase are dear to me, laughter. So, yeah. So this is, 
what she does. Anyways, okay, so, and she gives you, I really like this because she gives you basic mending techniques with sort of step-by-step -step photos. So for darning and darning a square, a rectangle, needle felting. So I just, I like that. And then she has this section on invisible mending and statement mending. So she talks about, you know, when you really just want to hide the thing, like for example, she mended there and different places where she's mended invisibly. And then when you're doing statements. So she gives you instructions for how she did it. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I just like the little examples. She, I found the moth holes and left it alone, said one mother of a hand-me-down cardigan. We mixed wool roving to create a similar red hue and needle felted the holes. I just, I don't know, I felt like I was looking over their shoulder as they do that. I just like that human element that she has in there. And then she has, again, you know, mending. I like that. See, look at that under the arm there. I just like her ideas and her style. And then she has, like, there's sections on rug hooking. I'll just go to the table of contents. There's all sorts of the mending techniques, which you can see here, the different stitches, cross stitch, ending and starting stitches with a knot, darning, crochet basics, crochet symbols, patchwork, rug hooking, you know, basic mending. I And she has a special section for socks and gloves. So I just enjoyed this book. A whole bunch. Yeah, we just have three more to look at. And this one is a bit different again. And I enjoyed this in a very different way. This is Mend, a refashioning manual and manifesto by Kate Schoolis. Schoolis. And um, here's the IBAN number. And this is a, published by Penguin. And this was 2020. Kate is a fashion historian, a writer, and she's an avid, you know, vintage clothes finder and mender. So she's huge experience. So in this book, you get a wealth of information. So especially if you're really into fashion and the history of, you know, sort of clothing, um, this would be quite, quite interesting for you and the history of mending so the whole kind of first part of the book is just full of that. Really, really quite interesting. This is an overview of the chapters. The what and the why, the when, the who, the where, and the how. So the how starts on 121, and there's this fabulous information. Then we have which and whether. That's the postscript. So in here, she talks about all the different tools you need, how you might need them. She shows you different stitches to knot or not. It's just the 10 step closet men. So, you know, working on your wardrobe, you know, what to keep, what to get rid of, uh, tips on, you know, finding vintage things, what you actually need in your kit, uh, you know, or might want like really broken down into good information really good. And then she has, you know, all sorts of little projects. Fiber to fabric, the naturals. She has a really good section about clothes moths and what works and what doesn't and what to do if you have an infestation, how to protect your clothes. Really good. So again, this is sort of a specialist book. You might not necessarily want to own it, but I mean, some people would definitely want to own it, and I can see that. So definitely check this out. Um, yeah, well, if, if it interests you. I think that it's a really good book. Two more. This one, which is, again, published in 2020, Visible Mending, Repair, Renew, Reuse, The Clothes You Love by, I'm so sorry, Arona Kunorje. Norje. Um, and this is the IBAN, or the ISBN. IBAN is a thing for the bank, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's published by Hardy Grant Quadrille Publishing. So this one has got some essential mending techniques in it. 
And then this one is very busy with projects. So like making butterfly applique, um, envelope pouch, project bag, things like this. So the, it's, yeah, it's got a lot of projects. It's project repair, but I find that for as big as this book is, it's, it's not a whole lot of info in some ways. I'm not saying it's bad, but compared to the other ones, like the Joyful Mending, I found that in that thin little book, there was a lot more for me. But um, definitely a lot of really good project ideas. It just wasn't my favorite. I have another very specialist book that I really liked as well. And this is The Mending Directory, Over 50 Modern Stitch Patterns for Visible Repairs by Aaron Eggenberg. And it's on the Search Press Publishers. And here's the, the number. And it basically does what it says. It is full and it shows you how to kind of do these, you know, it lays it out. It gives you the basics of how to darn planning the mend, your tools and materials. Obviously, it doesn't go deeply into that because basically it's a stitch, stitch dictionary. What's really nice is within it, she has a lot of the templates. This pocket has got one, two, three, four, like looks like five sheets of the templates. So if you really, you know, want to get into your mending with the stitches i'd say go for that i love how the t templates you can take out and use you know copy on your photocopier um rather than trying to you know fold the book out they're they're yeah they're actually on paper so i would recommend that for stitching for my top three my my personal top three as an all-arounder this is just a really you know this is personal I really love The Joyful Mending by Noriko Masumi. Mending Directory, the stitch, basically it's a stitch dictionary uh, by Aaron Eggenberg. I personally wouldn't buy this because, you know, I'm not, I'm not into fashion anymore. I live out here in the country. I'm mostly in the garden. I'm not, I'm not fussed. I don't spend my money on clothes. I just kind of, the only reason I knit clothes is because I knit. <laughs> Uh, and I want to make some things and that's fun, but I don't have room for a large wardrobe in the cottage anyway. But yeah, so Kate Schools, School Lace, Men, the Refashioning Manual and Manifesto. So yeah, so let me know what uh, books you really like or good YouTube channels for mending or whatever. Leave that in the comments as a community resource. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that.